In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps you need to take to build a profitable dropshipping business. I'm literally gonna share my entire end-to-end -end blueprint with you right now, so make sure you pay close attention throughout so you don't miss any of the critical steps. It's taken me over six years of my life and hundreds of thousands of dollars in advertising spend to figure this process out. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you need to do so you don't need to waste any time or money trying to figure things out yourself. Now in the last three videos of this five part mini series, I talked about why data driven dropshipping is the best way to achieve that six figure dropshipping business and how the old dropshipping methods just don't work anymore. I showed you the power of choosing products based on data and not on emotions and how that will guarantee that you will start your business the right way. And I also showed you how focusing on the benefits and not just the features of products skyrocketed my sales overnight and it changed my business forever. If you haven't watched those first three videos yet, then make sure you do that right now because they are filled to the brim with practical information that you can use on your business right now and you don't wanna miss it. But with that being said, let's jump right into it and let me walk you through our Bulletproof Blueprint. So this blueprint is basically the exact blueprint we use whenever we spin up a new store, whenever we test a new product. And this is the blueprint that our students use when they come through the academy. You know, this is the main kind of blueprint that we use to, to build these, these high converting dropshipping businesses. So I'm gonna walk you through it all right now so you can see exactly what you need to do in order to build up a successful dropshipping business. So the, the first stage of this process is what we call the, the foundation to success. It's about laying that kind of groundwork and getting everything set up the right way, making sure we have the right products, we have the right brand in place and basically just, you know, build, building that foundation. You know, we want to have the uh, strong foundation to build the rest of the business off. So basically the first part of stage one is the data-driven product research process. So we've been through that in the previous videos of this five-part series in terms of how we look at all the data. You know, we're looking at all the different validation criteria, competitor analysis, trend analysis. You know, we're looking at a bunch of different stuff to really validate these products to make sure that we have the best product to move forward with. You know, later on when you start running your ads, you're going to be spending money on it and you want to make sure that you have a strong product. You want to make sure that it's a product that people actually want. People are going to buy. People are already buying. You know, there is a demand for this product. This is what we kind of figure out within this validation process uh, to ensure that we have a really strong potential product um, to make a lot, of, a lot of sales and profit with. And then after that, we have the branding strategy. You know, this is where you would take a look at the brand. It's where you come up with the pain and problem analysis, who your perfect customer is. Uh, we're looking at the sort of psychology of selling. We're looking at the website build in terms of the design, structure, you know, branding, basically everything to do with that sort of you know, go-to-market strategy. You know, what is the brand? How do we want to position this product? You know, how do we want to be the leader in this market on this particular product? So we go through all of that, you know, come up with all that different sort of branding strategy. And then after that, you would basically then move into the creative design element. Once you have the product, once you understand kind of the brand that you want to sort of build around that product, we're then going to be looking at how we can go to market with it. You know, what is the best way to drive traffic to your store in terms of the ad creative? So we can start looking at different sort of ad styles that we that we look at in terms of the LDL ads, the social proof ads, the product showcase ads. We're going to be kind of going through all of that and you know having a creative design stage within your process of launching this is going to be you know incredibly important because you want to be able to connect these ads back to you know your pain and problem you want to be able to connect them back to the customer, to your brand, and you know, ultimately to the product. You know, it's all connected as you're going through this. So, you know, having this stage here where you have a look at your creatives and look at your ads, really figure out, you know, what is going to work best uh, for this product and for your customer base. You know, that is kind of what you do in that stage. Then after the creative design, we have the go live. You know, this is where you would open your store, you would launch your ads for the very first time. A bunch of different sort of campaigns you can look to test. You know, we generally look at things like open campaigns, interest campaigns, uh, and CFG campaigns. They're kind of the strategies we sort of walk through and we we basically build um, either one, two or all three of those at the launch and then basically do the go live, see how it performs, do a bunch of optimization and troubleshooting through those first initial days, you know, see kind of what traction we're getting, make those changes. And then at that point, after about a week or so, you start to have an idea on whether you have a product that you know, has legs, has potential. If not, then we need to go back to the drawing board, have a look at a different product, alternate product, find something else, double check that the data we've been looking at is accurate and then, you know, go back through the strategy again and relaunch another product. But you know, if you've done all of this stage correctly, if you've done your research, your data collection accurately, if you've built a good brand and you understand the pain and problem, you understand the, the psychology of selling, you understand how to connect your brand to your customer, and you've also got some great ads, you know, this stage here, this is where all of your, your sales and profits will start coming in. And at that point, you'll know that you have a winning product. You know, it's proven, people are buying it, you're converting it at a high level because you've got a great website and you have a great, great copy, great creatives. And at that point, we can basically move into stage two. Now, when it comes to stage two, once we've kind of laid the foundation here, stage two is really just about scaling that business as, as high as we possibly can. So you go through kind of a scaling engine where you take that validated product offer, all of your 
you're winning creatives, all of your audience data, and we start to you know use the data-driven scaling strategies to to scale that as high as we possibly can. So you know using things like lookalike scaling, vertical scaling, horizontal scaling, different strategies that you can use to you know really just increase the budgets and you know try and get as much traffic as you can to this kind of process here, which you already know is working. You know, it's proven to work. You've already got the sales coming in. Now it's about just increasing that traffic and managing those campaigns as we go. So, you know, with all these different kind of strategies, once you've done that, you would then be looking at, you know, optimizing and troubleshooting those scaling campaigns because you're always going to have to troubleshoot. You're always going to have to optimize as you're going through. It's not a case of just, you know, hit go and then forget about it. You've always got to be reviewing that data, reviewing the metrics, making sure that you are scaling profitably as you go through this. If you're not, then, you know, it's about figuring out kind of where things are going wrong. You know, is it the ads? Is it the, the landing page? You know, the checkout process? Is the product price right? The product description? Is it connecting with the audience? Things like that. You know, all these sort of questions start popping up when you're going through the scaling engine and really understanding, you know, what is working and what isn't working. And then you can start to optimize things, uh, troubleshoot the things that aren't working, fix those issues, and then double down on all the different stages that are working. And at that point, you know, once it is scaling profitably, it becomes what we call the snowball effect. You know, it's start slowly but as you start scaling that snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and by the snowball I mean the profit you know the profit starts to snowball and at that point you can start branching out and testing new creatives new audiences you can start looking at untapped markets in different countries you know up and coming countries that may not be spending as much online right now but you know are developing in that area you can start to test those you know really cheap costs in there but really at that point you're trying to scale it as high as you possibly can and keep growing it to as many different audiences as you can and then after that we basically you know can get into stage three which is where you really start building your empire you know this is the business expansion stage this is where you start filling in your core positions we start creating sops you know doing all the hiring process getting a team on board to free up your time you know this is the the most fun stage of it is when you've been doing all of this yourself you know you've been building everything you've been scaling everything and you've got to a point where it is profitable you can start reinvesting that profit back into the business and hiring team members you know virtual assistants custom service on processing marketing people to come in and help you with social media media and things like that you can build start building that team around you so you can basically focus on the vision and growth of your business you know rather than you know working in your business you can be working on your business which is a, a key switch uh, what that you end up making once you start scaling your business the rest of your team will then be managing kind of those daily tasks you know placing your orders with with your suppliers you're know, managing your customer service emails things like that uh, and you can then focus on you know really taking your business to the next level and you know really stage four if you want to go this far with it you know this is totally optional but stage four is really where you start to um, build out that true e-commerce business so this is what we call the future maker it's around you know building out a sustainable e-commerce brand where we start sourcing your know, products for cheaper costs you know faster shipping times custom packaging you know, better negotiation with the suppliers and things like that and at that point we can start bringing in products ourselves you know move away from that kind of drop shipping model where you don't have that stock you can start moving into a model where you do have the stock and you start setting up like three pls your know, third party logistic fulfillment centers and things like that where you can get you know faster shipping branded documents more automation you know better logistics and you can really start to create a true e-commerce brand if that is your goal you know like true have your own stock have your own fulfillment process you know and really start to build that, that well-known brand that you can scale for for years to come so that is the four stage process you know it's been proven to work time and time again you know stage one all about that foundation to success it's about building that profitable dropshipping business getting it launched, getting it validated, making sure that we've troubleshooted and optimized everything before we start to scale. Once we are making profits, you know, once we are seeing that, you know, customers are in the car liking that product and they, you know, they're buying it consistently, we can start to scale it, still using that dropshipping model, scale it to the highest levels possible using the scaling engine. And then after that, it's about building that team around you to help you with that dropshipping business. And then after that, it's really about then transitioning into an e-commerce business, e-commerce solution, and moving away from the dropshipping model and actually having your own stock and your own fulfillment centers and things like that so you can build that long-term sustainable brand. So this is the same strategy that myself and all of my students follow. And because of that, we have a ridiculous amount of results from it. Millions of dollars in verified student sales. And it's all because our students followed the data-driven dropshipping strategy and they were passionate and motivated to make their goals a reality. One of our students, Shannon, did over a million dollars on his own. You know, never mind the other two and a half thousand plus people from 139 different countries that have also learned how to do this and build their own profitable businesses. And even though these results are insane, I do want you to remember one thing. Dropshipping isn't a get rich quick scheme. You're building an e-commerce business from the comfort of your own home. And for you to be successful with that, you need to understand the fundamentals of e-commerce and how to consistently sell products online. You can't just wing it and hope for the best. You need a clear blueprint like the one I just went through. 
know, all of the detail behind that strategy is covered in my upcoming version 4.0 of the Advanced Dropshipping Academy. Inside, I show you everything you need to know to be successful with your e-commerce business. With easy to follow step-by-step -step videos, you will learn the exact methods to find and winning products, how to build your store, how to design high converting creatives, how to advertise with Facebook, and also how to scale your marketing campaigns to the highest levels. The video guides are completely beginner friendly and are perfect for someone just getting started in this industry. But they can also be beneficial for you if you've been trying to do this for a while but you can't seem to hit your goals. You can literally watch over my shoulder as I walk you through all of the steps so you can just follow along and implement it step by step at your own pace whenever you want so you can get the best results. So make sure you're on the lookout for when version 4.0 of the Advanced Dropshipping Academy launches because this is literally the most up-to-date dropshipping strategy I have ever released. And if you haven't already, then make sure you add your name on the early bird waitlist. Everyone on that early bird waitlist will get access to the registration link the night before the program launches to the public. So just click the link around this video, enter your name and email address, and your spot will be reserved for early access for when the Academy launches. Now over the last week or so, I've been getting dozens and dozens of messages from people asking all sorts of questions about dropshipping, e-commerce, the Academy. So in the next video, in the final video of this five part series, I'm gonna be going through some of your most commonly asked questions, answering them and trying to give as much value as I can on that video. So keep an eye out because your questions might also be answered in that video as well. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.